Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I just have a little thrift haul to share with you guys. I used to do these videos occasionally and I really enjoyed sharing with you guys the craft supplies and studio bits and bobs that I find in op shops or thrift stores. I have a bunch of pieces here to show you guys and these are from probably two or three different trips on different days. So I maybe picked up like three things on one day and you know, I didn't pick everything up all at once. Um, there's some stuff I may have already shown you, but I'm just going to put it all into one video anyway because this stuff's all really quite recent. So I just wanted to show you guys what I've found, how I intend on using it, and like give you a bit of an insight into what I look for when I'm thrifting. So I'm going to start off with this shelf because I've already shared some pictures of this on my Instagram. Isn't this little shelf the cutest thing? It's got these little hand painted like folky florals all over it, which are beautiful. It's got a little hook at the bottom there. And it actually came with a different little drawer pull. It was just like a little green block of wood and I didn't really like that. So I took that off and I just glued this little metal piece on as the drawer pull because this is a drawer, as you can see. So you could just have it like that, which I did consider. But I'm going to keep the drawer in it for now. And I've already put this up on my wall. I just took it down so I could show you all the beautiful little details. It's so pretty. I can't remember how much this cost me. I'm pretty sure it was like 5 or $10. I don't know. It wasn't very much. But I think it's so cute. And it really goes with all the colors in my craft room. Next, I found some stationery. So I found these two in one shop and I found this in a different shop on a different day. So this box caught my eye and when I opened it up, it was just full of old envelopes. So there's a heap of different envelopes in here. I think they're from all different sets and they've just been kept in this box. And there's a little bit of writing paper uh, along the bottom there as well. So lots of really old envelopes and I really like collecting stationery boxes. I have a drawer with a couple of really pretty ones. So a bonus that they came in this box. And I also found these stationery sets. So these, this one kind of like a vinyl cover and I, I really like this floral that really caught my eye. And when you open this up, it has on this side, this note paper pad just slipped inside. There's a pen and then there's these cool envelopes. So I'm not sure how many there are. Looks like there's a pretty generous amount. And then there's this little address book which is cute. I can take this out and put it into a journal or something because it's so thin and so tiny. Um, so that slips in there. And then there's this little pocket for putting your stamps. So there's that one. There was another one in the shop which didn't have a floral cover. It had kind of like travel themed patterns on the front of it, which I didn't really like as much. So I left that one there and I just grabbed that one. And I think that's really cute. I also grabbed this little stationery folder. This one was $1. I think the other one was also a dollar or maybe two. This one, I don't like as much, but, but it's still pretty. It's got some note paper and some envelopes in there. It's all still in the plastic. So there's that set. I also grabbed a couple of really pretty linens. I'm always keeping an eye out for these, but I'm more selective about the ones that I pick up. So um, I leave them in the store if I don't absolutely love them. These ones I think are really pretty and I'm going to save them for a special project that I have in mind. So I've got those two. And I also just picked up this crochet one just because I thought there was something about it that's really pretty. I don't know yet if I'll use this one for craft or if I'll use it for decoration. So like in my studio I could put like a plant on top of it or something like that. So I don't know. I just thought that... It was really pretty and delicate, so I grabbed that one as well. I've also been looking for a little vase to put my dried flowers in. So I picked this one up just because it was the prettiest one there. It is pretty and I think it looks nice in my studio. It's not as big as I was hoping, but as you can see, I've just got my little dried baby's breath. And it fits in there, so I got that. I think it cost me $1.50. I also grabbed a couple of rolls of fabric. So I got this floral roll which I thought was really pretty. I like this warm orangey tone. I got this stripy one. I thought that maybe this could come in handy around Christmas time. I'm not sure yet. I just grabbed that one and then I also grabbed this floral which I haven't even looked at properly but I thought the colors were really nice. Oh yes they're just really bright and vibrant so I don't know yet what I'll use this for either 
but I just thought that uh, it'll definitely come in handy. I can definitely put it to use. So I grabbed that one. Next, I grabbed a little pack of playing cards and I think these are just fun to use as ephemera. And I grabbed this particular pack just because, oh, I grabbed this particular pack because I pulled out this top card, these top couple of cards, and I thought that was a really cute pattern and I thought the whole deck looked like this, but the whole deck is actually just this really standard red playing card and they're so old and crispy, they're like stuck together. So that's kind of a bit of a bummer because I really was drawn to this pretty blue color card and there's only two of those, but that's okay. The box is kind of cool though, I could probably use that for crafting somehow. So I got a deck of cards, nothing too special there. I also came across this little box and this really isn't typically something that I would get or like my particular style. I do think it's cool, it's got these like hand painted designs on it, it's pretty intricate. But these like little Victorian girls reminded me of Penny and Rose Papery, so I just got it. It's just a little box and I can just put some, I don't know, I'll just use that for some kind of storage in my studio. I typically like to collect vintage tins, like really pretty ones, and I'll just put that with those. Unless Penny and Rose Papery wants it, then I will send it to her. I also grabbed this book, and this book was only a dollar, and I kind of like ummed and ahed about getting it because I don't really repurpose books very much, but it's in pretty beat up shape. As you can see, it's pretty pretty wobbly it was only a dollar and the binding in here has actually got these rings or this coil and all the pages are music paper so music paper is a really easy supplier to use in junk journals and in journaling you can just use it as paper and it's got some really pretty illustrations in here as well so I figured if I do use this book for crafting I'll be able to utilize every single page in my crafting and I'll also be able to utilize the cover up because I can take out this coil it's already kind of falling off as you can see the pages are kind of like too heavy for this type of binding it's just like hanging by the paper so I can take this off and I can repurpose this cover and make some kind of book with it I don't know what yet maybe like an art journal or um, a sketchbook or something but yeah I just thought that was pretty cool and for a dollar and in the shape that it's in, I think it should go to a crafter. It should, it should get a new life. The last two things I have to share with you guys are not really craft supplies at all, but I'm just gonna show you because I just got them with this stuff. So I'm just gonna show you. I got this really mini table, which it's hard to show you. But I got this little mini table. It had $5 on it. I got it for $2. The man gave it to me for $2, which was very generous and I'm just going to use this as a little plant stand so I got that table I also got this spoon cabinet full of souvenir spoons and it's really hard to show you guys let me open this up so it stops reflecting the light but it's full of souvenir spoons and I don't collect these I do think they're cool I've always kind of been drawn to them my nana used to have some at her house and I always used to think they were really cool. Sorry, it's so hard to show you guys as the light's reflecting off the spoons. But I think what really drew me to this was actually the cabinet itself. I feel like I would be happy to display this in my craft room. I think it would go with my aesthetic and fit really well with my studio decor as the way it is. But I also got to thinking that I could potentially take out these spoons and I could use this cabinet for some kind of craft supply. So I don't know what, and if you guys have any ideas, I would love to hear them because I don't know what I could fit into these little slots. I don't know, I kind of feel like I want to repurpose it somehow, but at the same time, I think it's really charming the way it is. So I don't know, I may just leave it as is and hang it up in my studio. But the little doors are magnetized. Hear that click? So it's a really cute little shallow cabinet that you can hang up on the wall. And I just thought, I don't know, there was something about it that drew me in and I got it for $8 and I would love to hear your ideas for what I should do with this cabinet. Should I just leave it as it is and hang it up or should I do something fun with it? 
Um, what else could I put in here? I would love to hear your ideas. So that is my thrift haul for craft supplies. If you guys enjoy seeing these thrifty haul videos, let me know and I would be happy to film more of them for you guys. I'm always keeping an eye out in secondhand stores for cool things to either decorate my studio or to craft with. So, so if you guys like this kind of content, let me know and I will do more of these types of videos for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little thrift haul today. I hope you're all doing really well and I will see you in my next video. Bye.